standing on a dead tree here in the banks of St. Paul's village, a village that we come to every year to enjoy the passage of the rough waters, or one of the very few rough waters that they experience throughout the day. Jerry, you're below me today. Nonetheless, we're here with few people filling their mouths, as we say in Belize, feeding their faces, as we say, eating the rice and beans, which is very local. Below me, a woman that wanted to move, very shy for the camera, or may I see two of them, but the gentlemen don't care. They're still enjoying that nice rice and beans. Jerry, how you feel? Well, I'm a little bit excited, a little bit depressed. We're at this fall right now. This is the big falls that everybody knew Jerry had a, a little coincidence here. But, you know, none other than Javier we're with. And we have all the village turned out today because this is one of the big things here in St. Paul's. That's right. Uh, I think it was two years ago, if I remember clearly, we had three of the big teams capsizing right on this very same water. It was, first of all, the Belize Bank team came with the Armin, the big gun, in the race at that year. Uh, capsizing first, followed by Jerry, another big gun, going for it. And then Cubs Arm was the other team that went right into the water as well. I wanted to say hi to a few people and say hello. Uh, you know, just for me to, to ask them, how do you feel this morning? But you know what? Then don't tell me no. Um, so I, I know you are good because I might put the microphone in front of you and I know I say anything. How long do you think we will be here before the race arrives, Jer? Well, right now it's 10.45. Have, I think the race is going to pass to St. Paul's here about 1 o'clock, 12.30, somewhere in that, in that vicinity. With the low water right now, these guys are not going to be hurrying. They don't have the water speed, so they're going to take their time and come down this way because now we know we have a lot, of, a lot of logs sticking out than normal when we have the high water level. So I think these guys are going to take longer than normal to get here. You know, I came, I've always come close to the waterfalls, to be honest with you, but for some reason today it looks treacherous. And at this, it has never looked like this. And I've come close to it as we have before. But for, honestly, for some reason, Drew, I think you'll agree with me, it does look treacherous. I, I, I hope we don't have any spill, Javier. You know, these guys, we, we have um, niche. They have a commanding lead on the other guys. If anything should go wrong here, you know, the race can change. People are saying the race is not going to change. I myself say the race is not going to change because of the time span with Niche and the other team. But if something would happen here with Niche, you know, the guys can at least cover some time on Niche. Or if something would happen to the other teams, then the race would change. But today, after today, I don't think anything will change. Well, I'll be honest with you. I think it might be a little bit, it, sound, it won't sound too good, but... I think a little spill is exciting, Jer. <laughs> it is It is excited for the fans. I, I don't think it's going to be excited for the paddlers. Nobody wants to spill. But it is canoe. Can you do flip? You know, let's hope not, Javier. I want to see a, I want to see a sprint at doublehead cabbage between Niche and the other three canoes that are coming down today. The difference with broadcasting and the difference with uh, critiquing and the difference with analyzing, uh, Jerry, is the, you know, the fact I want to see a spill and you don't, don't want to see a spill, you want to see a sprint. Drew, what do you want? A, a, a sprint or you want to see a, some canoes capsize today? You want to see them turn over too. See, that's right. We are like the devil's advocate on this one. Um, I don't do it because I don't, I don't want them to win. I just like to see them. I like to see them turn over, man. The action. You know what I mean? And the root of Maya is about action. But Jerry wants to see a sprint. What's that? Oh, we have a lady that will talk. All right, we'll take the microphone over. We'll, Jared, take the microphone over. Yeah, have, let me go ask these nice ladies some, some <laughs> little question over here. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Um, what's your name? Samantha. Samantha, Samantha what? Solalan. Hi, Miss Solalan, good morning. Um, how long have you been out here waiting for these guys? About two hours. And you still have energy, right? Yes. Why are you, why, why you acting shy, Samantha? You need to cheer up. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a camera. I shy for camera. <laughs> and man. <laughs> oh, boy. Javier. Javier. <laughs> this girl is... <laughs> she's, uh, she's shy for, 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 for cameras and man. But why why your jeans tear up? You want to make a patch it for you? Uh, huh? I'll, I'll, I'll patch the jeans, Jerry. And she says she's shy for man. Yeah, which which team you want to see today come over on the top? 
Well, but some which, which one Chanel and Nina? I don't know about my sister, la, Chanel the paddle too. So I they have a ch Chanel Pook. All right, Chanel Pook, uh, I think it's a um hardly particular team. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go, you yeah. know yeah. she No, it's not the Englishman, it's Doyle Bull. My okay, cousin. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I understand now. <laughs> Doyle Bull is from Lemonade Village, if I'm not making a mistake. But she also want to see a girl from this same village come up there in the um, hardly particular team. That's the team from, from this village. All right, there we go. We are on the banks of St. Paul's. Ladies and gentlemen, the race, the race is going to be here pretty soon. Samantha, thank you very much for the interview. And in a little bit, I'm sure that more people will come here, Drew. But for now, we're going to take away the cameras, go back to studios, but hear me out. This segment was brought through smart, smart. The fun continues from this year's route. Amaya, we have made our way to Big Falls. Actually, in the interview or in the clip before, you saw that we are already at Big Falls. But I come behind, and I figure I want to sit down next to the two ladies. I say, I don't mind on the show my back on TV. And Kim say, no show my face. And none of them are ugly. You know, none of them are not ugly. They're just shy. Kim, what, what, what make you come so far? No, act like I'm not the talk to you, Kim. Now, you know that you are the talk to. <laughs> Sure, have you? You never. She, yeah, she never up on the phone. She the act. Oh, that. It, it really, really is. Anyway, nonetheless, this is Ruth and Maya, um, day two. We came down here because this is one of the places that you will see the most excitement, right, Javier? Definitely. We spoke about it a little while ago, and uh, I was telling Jerry that to me, the rapids look a lot more treacherous than the other times we've seen it. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I didn't learn for swim. Um, I need to say good morning to Shanice McFadson. Shanice? Or Shanice Flowers? Shanice who? That Shanice McFadson? She didn't get a teacher for swim? I have her in my phone as Shanice Swim Girl. <laughs> Well, I need to say good morning to Shanice, my swim girl, okay? But when she could teach me to swim in the water like this, then I know I land good. Yes, um, you know, I was watching the, the young men a little while ago go in the water. In fact, they came from way up above. Uh, they swam all the way down right into that waterfall. And, you know, Rhonda, it's amazing how life is different, you know, throughout the country. Uh, it's in, beautiful in, here and peaceful. In San Ignacio, the kids want to go downtown and buy cappuccino and and all these ice drinks and hang around the park. Look at how these kids have fun. You know what I mean? This is what I personally call fun. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, this is where you get to really, really appreciate Belize on a different level. What's that? You get to appreciate Belize on a different level. Well, definitely. The fun here is looking at the Cahoon trees, listening to the howler monkeys, watching the howler monkeys jump from tree to tree. Man, life is beautiful, Jerry. One thing I can say is that you grew up in a really beautiful country and, a, you know, life is really an interesting being in this part of the woods. Yeah, you know, Belize, you know, what would we do for Belize, man? This is, this is, this is our nature, this is our background, this is our yard. This is where all the, 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 this is the Belize River Valley we're in and I would do anything to not move from this area. Do you know the chicken that lives in the bamboo? I know about the bamboo chicken. You know, the thing is, I, I never had the bamboo chicken. I never saw the bamboo chicken in that level yet. Does the bamboo chicken have a beak? <laughs> um, like I said, you know, the bamboo chicken does not have a beak. It doesn't have a beak, so why don't you call it bamboo chicken then? Well, I guess it's because they live in the bamboo. And, it's and the, male, the male bamboo chicken crow? Yeah, in the morning, very early. You got to get up from about 1 o'clock. To hear that bamboo chicken, the rooster crow. It start to crow and it wake up people. Yes, that's right. The bamboo the, chicken. The bamboo chicken. I'll tell you what though, Javier. Um, we know that the race will come any minute now. It'll pass this location any minute now. So we encourage people to stay glued to your television sets. Your, I don't know if you're watching it on Facebook uh, Live or wherever it is that you're watching at it. We encourage you to stay there. Rhonda, this lady Rhonda, next to me. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Have, you, have you heard the bamboo chicken crow, the rooster? And um, he said for say yes. Okay. He said for say yes. All right, good. And yeah, yeah, yeah. he na boom. And if one person na boom hear it, as everybody as hear, as hear it. They hear the bamboo rooster. You hear the bamboo rooster before Kim? Never. Never. Where are you from? City, Belize City. Well, How much place. time you come up here? This is my first time. That your first time too? Yes. <laughs> he says yes. Oh no, no, turn around make the rest of the world see on the face. Ciao. I tell you, turn around, make we see on the face. This lady said that from Corozal, in Annie. If you know one, it's from Corozal. 
Yeah, and this is the first time that St. Paul's. What made you come? I just want to see the race. <laughs> she just wants to see the race. Next one? Leslie. 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 Say hello to all the Corozal people. <laughs> and I, I, look, I hope that all the Corozal people are not so shy. Yeah. After interview the husband. After interview the husband. Yeah. But uno, we're not interviewing on the back ton. T U N. That's how you spell it. Ton. On the back ton. T U N. That's a proper Creole yeah, phone. And I'll tell you what though, we have to thank our sponsors. Wow, creative marketing when you're looking for hats, banners, t-shirts, anything. And you don't have to go and add a 100,000 or 50 or 500. You can go in there with one thing and creative marketing will give you exactly what you want. They don't want to treat you like you're a second class citizen. You know, they, if it's one or if it's a hundred, you get the same quality of treatment. When you're looking for a vehicle, it has to be a Wingle H, a Wingle 6. It comes with $500 free fuel. And beside the $5,000, $5,000 free fuel. And with, beside the $5,000, the Wingle 6 also have great features. The latest technology. The only thing where... And one of the things that's more special about this is that you get the latest technology and you pay very little I hear for that it. You clap and it start. You sit down in there uh -huh. and it start. Oh, you don't have to, you don't clap. You clap that extra energy. Okay, good. So you sit down and zoom. And only that, you sit down and it fix your chair. Oh, wow. Oh. You understand? Yes. And it has a protective. If you're catching a, a lot of people are nervous about side collisions. Yeah. When you have a Wingle 6, there is a special panel in all the doors that is another layer of security and not every vehicle has that a lot of those vehicles out there are pretty but they're not functional the wingle six is beautiful and functional i'll tell you what we're going to do though we have to go back we have to go back to studio i have to go to the next location um anything you want to tell me before i go yes i just wanted to tell you that uh, emil torres is the guy to contact if in case you need a brand new vehicle or if you need vehicle parts from the united states or other parts of the world and as well uh, Smart is, the, is, is responsible for bringing us live from wherever we are and this segment was brought from them as well and for your cable and internet and if you want the new app on our telephone that's called Switch remember Alternative Networks is the company to do that with and don't forget Bella Vida alright that's the company that produces the best water in Belize Bella Vida is produced in Belize what's that Jerry? that's the oil for your engine this is the oil for your engine it's not Alvoline it's Bella Vida Valvoline is for your truck, cars, any, any, um, anything that requires motor oil, we recommend that you use Valvoline. But if it's for your body, definitely it needs to be Bella Vida water. On that note, we're going to say, take it back to studios.